Hello everyone, and welcome back to Equilinox and the saga of the little lost sparrow and the trickster's jungle. This poor sparrow has been holding in there for so long, I don't know how much longer it has left to live, but I want to give it somewhere to roost and I want to give it somewhere that it will hopefully be able to leave behind descendants that will one day become the toucans of the trickster's jungle. And in order to do that, we need to have a jungle to speak of. So today we are going to work on spreading the jungle through this part back here of our world and hopefully getting uh, the tree that we need in order to evolve the sparrows into toucans and that is going to be the canopy tree. So to get the canopy tree we actually need to have larger fiscus trees and we need to have two toads. To get toads we need to have uh, the lizards evolve into frogs and once they evolve into frogs you can evolve the frogs into toads. So things are about to get very very interesting. Oh is that a little lizard? Oh no it's a very beautiful tropical flower. Wow I really like that. But uh, things are going to get very interesting and to help things along we should expand the jungle a little bit and keep an eye out for new fiscus trees. So I figure while we're waiting for the fiscus trees to have babies we should go ahead and spread the jungle a bit more. Oh and the fiscus trees will actually spread the jungle that is so cool. I want to work on spreading it with just some plants right now including jungle grass because it's kind of cheap and it's pretty good at really solidifying a strong jungle presence. So let's see, there we go, suitable biome, suitable biome. I really want the jungle grass taken off over here. And then the vine trees should technically spread on their own with time. Their population density is a bit high. Um, but even though I had set the vine trees to try to like really evolve them to be big, it looks like they struggle to do that. Hmm, who's the biggest vine tree? This guy? How old? Kind of an old vine tree. I'm not feeling that patient. We'll play with um, perfecting the different types of trees and perfecting the different types of genes in the future. For now, the vine trees really love to have the jungle rocks nearby. So it is trickier than you might think to actually build up a jungle. You need to have the right kinds of rocks in order to make the trees happy and in order to make the jungle really take root you really do need to have different trees and you really do need to have different types of plants because if it's just one species of plant i've really noticed it just does oh look at how many vine trees just well, they just disappeared and pizza just passed away Oh, rest in it. pepper, like ripperoni, pepperoni pizza. You left behind a whole bunch of wonderful children, including Champ. I'm gonna go ahead and name Champ Pizza the second. I think that's actually like your great grandchild, but we're trying to breed large tortoises, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that population in the future. But I have really noticed over the many weeks of playing that the higher the diversity you get, the more stable the biome seems to be, which makes complete sense to me. So what can we do? Not tropical. Lives in jungle. Oh hey, button mushrooms will live in the jungle. Ooh, water lilies will live in the jungle too. That's so cool. Let's get a vine tree over here now that this area is established. Let's see. And this should help. There we go. Yeah, putting them right next to their rocks will help. And then tropical flowers will apparently live in the jungle. I'm not sure how happily though. What does it take to get a tropical plant? Evolve a tropical flower! Oh, is that the case? Why don't you come hang out in here, little tropical flower? You're perfectly content here! Interesting! Tropical flower doesn't care if it's in lush, jungle, or tropical. Noted. Oh, and it was trying to become heel bloom, and we never did manage to snag that. Oh, and we need some insects. Okay, I did have a whole bunch of tropical flowers that we specifically evolved to make them purple. And watch this, I think we're about to get some heel bloom right here under the banana tree. Whoa, what was that? What is this? What is all this glowing stuff everywhere? What is happening? Is that heel bloom? Whoa, we just evolved heel bloom. Is that what heel bloom is? It's really sparkly. What is this? This is so cool! Can I see Heel Bloom? 
Or is it just something that like burst and then creatures eat it? Do they do they become healthier from heal bloom? How did that work? Heal bloom unlocked. No requirement. Where is heal bloom? I'm so curious. Holly bush, berry bush, heal bloom. This rare flower can only be grown in very specific tropical areas and is much slower growing than your regular flower. When fully grown, the plant can be transplanted to another area where it will die and release its valuable seeds. The seeds have healing properties and are of great use to diseased animals. What? So you can grow a bunch of heal bloom and then transplant it and when it bursts open, it will heal diseased animals? That is so cool! I want to plant another heal bloom. Come down here, little one. You're very expensive, though. Oh, boy. And you like to be up high and in very specific tropical spots. Um, I think 94% right here is the best you're going to get. No, don't you eat that little turtle. <laughs> this is our precious, precious heel bloom, okay? It's critically important you don't eat that. The poor lost sparrow will hopefully be able to, to have some at some point. You can increase the editability, you can change the colors. I think it's really amazing as it is. So we'll check in on the heel bloom in a little bit. Yay, and look at this, our jungle is taking root. How are the sizes on the fiscus trees? Not really getting, oh, 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 oh. We're getting bigger. We're, we've got this, we've got this. Okay, we finally have a fiscus tree that's big enough. Now we need two toads. It sounds like we're trying to do some sort of potion spell with like a witch cauldron, doesn't it? Giant mushrooms and toads mixed with a heel bloom creates the trickster's jungle. All right, well, let's go ahead and see. Little lizard, little lizard. How do I turn you into a frog? I transplant you to a new life, little lizard, little lizard, or I, because you're very expensive to transplant, <laughs> just come over and get a new lizard. All right, so here we go, our very first new lizard, a couple of them, living here in the jungle. We cannot change their color, but I have no problem with that, and we can totally breed them into frogs. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to be responsible with my DP and not just spend it willy-nilly anymore. Which is why I'm not trying to change just the size minutely of things any longer, even though it's so fun. Alright, well we're waiting for that little guy to evolve. Let's see if our jungle's- look at the jungle, it's spreading! Yes, I am so tickled! Can I put in anything else? What else lives in the jungle? Button mushrooms live in the jungle. Tropical flowers live in the jungle. Vine trees, fiscus trees. Um, tulips. <gasps> That's tulips live in the jungle. Go, 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 go. Where's my super rare tulip? There is one of my super rare tulips. I need a younger, healthier specimen. Young and healthy specimen of my super rare, super precious ultra tulip, please. Um, hmm. You're 10 hours old. All those tulips are very old. I need a younger specimen. Here's some younger specimens. All right, my, my precious, absolutely perfect tulip of the purple variety. Will you endure the jungle all right? You will, you will indeed. All right, come here. You're going into the jungle. This is a purple tulip, which is a strange mutation that just popped up out of the blue. Is it happy here? Oh, look how happy. Yes, <gasps> we've evolved a frog. The lizards have had a frog child! Oh my gosh. Hi, little guy! Where do I put you? You probably need insects to eat! How do I feed my frog? <laughs> this is going so fast! Here we go! Look at my tiny little frog! Oh, please tell me I can make it a cool little poison dart frog. Oh, you're so cute! Do you like lily pads? What do I do with a frog? This is so exciting! This really does feel kind of like making magic because it's like now we have magically made a frog appear. To make it a toad, we have to make it very, very satisfied and mud colored. Interesting. So we can change the disease resistance, the speed, the bounce power. Um, and how do we make it happy? It likes, uh, it likes mushrooms and flowers. Well, I put it down next to a flower and it likes insects. It per periodically attempts to catch and eat nearby insects. Well, we don't have any insects yet, little guy. So you just hang in there. 
And can I make you, oh, I can make golden frogs. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with mud colored frogs, but then swiftly change that in a future generation to like cyan color frogs, cause that sounds amazing. And then let's actually move one of my biggest mushrooms. One of my big trickster mushrooms. This guy looks perfect, 134. Oh my gosh, he's so expensive to move. All right, you better spread like babies all over the place, please. <gasps> he died! No, why? That was so expensive for no reason. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you need next to you? Oh, they prefer to be above 15 meters. And this is too low. Fooey, all right, well, I won't get those really cool mushrooms, but maybe this is an opportunity to evolve a new type of mushroom. Hey now, now I'm getting excited. All right, like the red mushroom, come on. Swamp or the tropical mushroom, light blue. Hmm, let's make this just like a really cool mushroom. Light blue, 126, or we could make it red. Let's make it red, because we already have the blue jungle mushrooms. There we go. Gosh, this is so fun. Good, our trickster's jungle is establishing itself. That pleases me. Uh, we have a bunch of adorable little lizards who are quite content. And we have completed the banana farmer! Huzzah! Wow, that's a really good DP collection. Let's celebrate by spreading some more tropical flowers. Let's put down spreads jungle. Uh, the jungle grass spreads jungle. I'm gonna have the jungle grass come down here. Thank you very much. It's very interesting how you really have to kind of work hard uh, and I probably need to spread the stones, that's why. And create the kind of rocky stony soil and then add in more large stones that will make all of these guys happy. There we go, oh that poor sparrow. I'm going little one. Oh that's right, we need to see if we can, now that we have the frogs, if we can evolve the tree so that the sparrow can be happy. There's a few large stones. Let's put down a few jungle rocks next to those large stones. There we go. And hopefully, yeah, you can see the greenery spreading. Spread, my wonderful greenery, spread. All right, let's see. So, do we have a established jungle now? Can we make a canopy tree yet? Oh, that's right, we need toads. Fooey, I forgot about that. Oh no, and the wolves and sheep's clothing reward has been collected. <laughs> that means that I think my sheep have been eaten once more. It seems like the wolves really prefer to focus on, um, good, so this is big enough, but I need toads. Which means I need, <gasps> little brown frog, little brown frog. You had a little brown frog baby already. Yes. And now you just need to be really happy. Are you not happy enough? <gasps> I think we need insects. We need insects to make our little frogs content and happy. And look at the little red mushrooms we have everywhere. Oh, this jungle is turning into something that's so cool. I am so happy. I want to I want to celebrate. What else lives in the jungle? Let's put down some more things just to celebrate. Uh like jungle mushrooms, but they like to be up high. We can put down more tropical flowers here and there. There we go. We can put down more jungle grass along the edges to kind of like stabilize that greenery, if you ask me. There, so nice, look at that. Gosh, that makes me happy. All right, well we need to make the little frogs happy in order to make them uh, like completely satisfied. I don't think they can become satisfied without having their like species around. So in order to have given the descendants of the wandering sparrow, who I think has finally passed on, but no doubt its eggs are still hiding somewhere around here, so we will say, uh, a place to land, we need to make the canopy tree, and to make the canopy tree, <laughs> we need to make uh, the toads, and to make the toads, we need to make insects. So I think it's finally time to slow down for a second and to look, ooh, the mighty jungle, for the butterflies. So we need to get jungle flowers. 
based, uh, breed some of the higher tier jungle species and add them into your jungle biome to create a dense jungle. This would be the perfect place for some insects to live. So we need to unlock the butterfly and that will lead to catching butterflies and the flutter by, <laughs> that reminds me of something my beloved Chips used to say when we would go on dates early on. Whenever we'd see a butterfly, he'd be like, you butterfly away. And it was just so funny and cute. Oh gosh. Uh, but we'll work on the flutter by quest as well. So we need to get some jungle flowers. And to do that, we just need to evolve some jungle grass. The heck? That easy? <laughs> All right. Well, when we come back next time, we will continue to keep an eye on our tiny toads and hopefully make them very content by getting some jungle flowers pretty soon. I might move our super large fiscus down uh, if it doesn't mind that. I don't think it will. Yeah, we're going to move the super large fiscus down so that we can keep an eye. Oh, it's so expensive to move. You better not die on me. You hear me? Don't you dare die. All right, population density low. All of its children should be around here. And next up, all we need is a sprinkling of butterfly wings. Gosh, really thinking about those magical tones once more. <laughs> and once we have those, uh, we will be able, once I get this jungle flower evolved, there we go, to finally get the canopy tree. Whew. All right, well, one step at a time. If you guys could, do please leave a like to celebrate our thriving jungle. I am so happy we have this little corner established. I really want to get the jungle kind of spread down this way. Uh, I think it will meet the desert land right here, but I want to see the jungle spread even more and really fill it up with huge, beautiful trees, and then hopefully get the jungle spreading down here, and then maybe eventually transform some of this land into like a lush environment. And I want to see, uh, I want to see more wolves roaming the world. I want to see camels roaming our desert over here. I want to turn this into something super special. This into like mushroom mountain somehow. We have so many wonderful, wonderful adventures ahead. And if you guys, no peace in a second, would like to join us, then do please consider subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.